Um, we just need three aluminum. It's raining! Awesome! Welcome back, everybody, to the Planet Crafter. I am the Bearded OG, and in this episode, uh, we're going to start working on building uh, a more permanent base, but not necessarily the permanent base. Um, it's very likely that we will have multiple bases by the time this playthrough is all over. Uh, so let's see, we are 94% of the way to cloud, so that will definitely happen in this episode. Um, very, It's going to happen in a couple of minutes, in fact. Uh, I also took and planted the golden flower uh, in this tube here and planted the, what was it called? Uh, the the Nolna seed uh, in here. So this is a 300% oxygen multiplier. This one is a 600%. It's amazing. Um, and we uh, we can also now make the tier three version of these, which means we'll, uh, you know, we'll, uh, and we can put the tier threes outside, which we will do. Um, okay, let's see. How are we doing on our food here? There are 78%, but we've got a, a closet full of food, so we are in just amazing shape as far as that goes. Um, what I want to do is, um, I think what we'll do is we'll we'll make ourselves like a little halfway house between here and the build site. I know we have the pod over there, but the pod's kind of over there, and I want a more direct line uh, to where we're going to go. So why don't we... I guess we'll, yeah, we'll want to kind of come around this way. And maybe we can put that right about here. And this is even potentially temporary. It's not necessarily going to stay here uh, the whole time. Uh, let's see. We're looking for the door. Okay. All right. So we got that done. Um, now I want, I think what I want is just a whole mess of... Um, Iron and and this stuff, titanium, uh, because we're gonna start by putting some found, uh, a, a foundation grid down first um, before we start doing the building. So to have a general, oh nice, we got the launch platform. You know what that? I think that means. I think we just hit clouds. I think we just hit clouds, ladies and gentlemen. And look, there they are. <laughs> All right, awesome. So I believe we'll start we'll start seeing rain here fairly soon. In fact, let's go back. Um, I'm going to grab some titanium and iron in particular on the way back. Um, let's go back and see um, what it says. Because I think after clouds, we get we get into the lakes stage. Um, and there is indeed a, a few different ways... Oh no, we haven't actually hit that. Okay, we're we're just about ready to though. Uh, we instead what we did is we hit uh, a milestone on terraformation index itself. Um, okay, greatly speeds up the terraformation process by sending rockets into space. Um, so yeah, that that we're gonna we're definitely be doing that. But there's other functions to that besides just terraforming too, as I recall, like you know putting a satellite in space for the communications map and that sort of thing. All right, so we're less than 1% away from hitting uh, the clouds there. Let's grab all of this out of here and all of this out of here, or as much of it out of there as we can we can hold. And um Yeah, that should that should pop in just a minute. Let's just actually wait till it happens so we can see it happen this time. <laughs> in uh, I think it was two episodes ago. We were down in that underground bunker in that big crater when we switched, you know, to blue sky and we actually missed it. All right, here we go. Should turn the clouds in a second. Don't, don't we get like an alert or something? Nope, I guess not. <laughs> <laughs> I figured we'd get a little chime or something. Okay, so apparently we don't get rain in cloud stage. We have to wait to tell the rain stage, which will be the next one coming up. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. You guys are at 91%. All 
All right, since we have an abundance of food now, let's just top that off. And uh, we have one water and one O2 capsule if we need it. All right, let's go. Let's go move to the build site. So what I want to do with that is I want to set down a, a foundation grid uh, just to get things up off of the ground a little bit. Because uh, the problem uh, that you can run into in this game is that if you... Well, we even saw that, I think, in episode one when we were building our first building there. You know, if the ground undulates just a little bit up from where your current structure is, then it'll block you from placing it. So I just want to have everything raised up off the ground um, just a little bit. So that way we don't have to worry about it. And you know what else we should do? Uh, we should set a temporary O2 building up over here too now that I think about it. But we'll get the first foundation down and then we'll worry about that. So again, my understanding, if you didn't catch the last episode, my understanding is that the waterfall is going to come off of that mountain and I think kind of flow down into here and this will all become a lake. Um, so with that being said, we want to make sure that we have a nice view of that with our base that we build up here. So I think we'll build the base itself kind of in this in this front section and then all that area behind there can be our solar panel fields and our drill fields and our oxygen generating fields, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. Okay, so um, that being the case, um, I think we'll start by putting down a foundation here and yeah, let's have it. We could even put up a little higher just so that it is higher. Yeah, maybe we'll do that. All right. And then we'll put the first thing here. I don't know if we, co if I covered this in the first episode or not, but Unfortunately, these things don't line up properly on these foundations. I wish the devs would fix that. It's just, and it's really difficult too to uh, to figure out, uh, you know, to get it placed properly because you just can't can't really see what's going on there. Um, all right, let's let's try that. Yeah, see, it's that that's good. I think for for where it is, but. Uh, but it's still not perfectly lined up. So, you know, it is what it is. Can't do anything about it. So, all right, let's see if we can get a, a door on here. Uh, well, no, we're not going to make it. That's all right. No big deal. Uh, okay, let's put the door here. Can we jump up there? Yeah, we can, but we'll put a stairway in anyways. All right, cool. I guess the other potential advantage of putting the, the foundation up a little higher, too, is that if we ever got to the point where the water actually came up here, we're up even a little bit higher. I kind of don't think it's going to, though. But I don't know. You know, well, time will tell, right? Time will tell. All right, now, um, I'm planning on making this building a 5x5 five five to start with. And, and then we're going to also have an upper floor, though, too. So I just have to kind of think about this. Um, in fact, here. Let's just do this. Let's put you there and you there. And we're going to put the these corner pieces on the corners. Yeah, I think that's fine. I think that'll give us plenty of plenty of room on both sides. Okay, let's put a stair stairs in. Perfect. Okay. Me likey. Alright, now we're gonna just snap uh, more foundations down here. This is purely for aesthetics. They're not required, but we're gonna do it. And as you can see, you know, it's it's not even, but I there's just nothing I can do about that. So we're gonna We're just oh my god, did that, <laughs> did that end on top of the the building? I think it did. Well, at least that answers that question. That does it doesn't destroy your base. Um, yeah, so it's going to stick out a little further on this side than that side, but again, nothing we can do about it. It's oh god, <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> are, are we? Yeah, okay, we can still replenish our oxygen. All right, we're going to have to wait for those rocks to clear. That's funny though. 
Man, it went all the way inside the base. I mean, uh, the other option is to not put the side foundations on and have it overhang. I don't know about that. Let's look at it. Let's just see how we feel about that. That could potentially work too, I suppose. Either way, it's not going to be even no matter what we do. Um... Yeah. Oh, wait a minute, though. No, we're going to put corner pieces on, too. So, yeah, let's definitely at least put these sides on. I forgot about that. Sorry. Uh, all right. So we'll put this here. Now, let's go grab some cobalt because we need cobalt for the corner pieces. And we'll put the first two corner pieces in just to kind of get the feel for it. So we want to pivot that way. And we'll do the same thing on this side. Hopefully that rock doesn't prevent us from putting this in. We need one more titanium. Here it is, here it is right here. Okay, now, does that look weird with the bottom foundations not going all the way out to the edge or do we just consider it an overhang hmm and if okay here, let's go back in here see this is going to give us a spectacular view of that waterfall when it happens uh, plus we're going to have an upper you know we're going to have a, a, at least one upper floor in addition to that so I like the way that part of this is coming together. I wonder though if if we're gonna do the overhang thing, I almost feel like it should kind of overhang in front too, so it's more or less overhanging on all ends, uh, on all sides rather. Hmm. This problem could be completely solved if the devs would just make the damn foundations line up with the buildings. Uh, you know, the same dimensions as the buildings pieces. I have no idea why they, they didn't do that. Okay, here's what I'm thinking. If it's going to overhang about almost a half of a building on that side and a little less than a half of a building on that side, maybe what we need to do is... Um, you know what I want to do, actually? Let's let's build... Uh, we're going to build the big advanced crafting station in, in their new base, but let's just put a small one in there for now so we can make some more water and O2 and all that. We have everything to make that, right? Yeah, okay. This is going to be good, you guys. I'm excited. This is going to be cool. Very cool. <clears throat> We still have some debris on the top of our base. That's that's funny. All right. Again, uh, this is temporary. Uh, or maybe it's not. Maybe we'll keep this here all the time. I don't know. But we're just going to set this here for now. Um, so I can make some more water. And we need to drink a water. All right. So here's what I want to do. I'm going to deconstruct all of these. Okay, we'll pick that up. <clears throat> now let's hold, let's hold these foundations back. Uh, wait, what did I click on? No, I want this. Let's hold these foundations back a little bit so they're not even flush with the front. Maybe to there. Because I think that will work well with the whole overhanging on all sides kind of thing, if, if that makes sense to you guys. <clears throat> um, I mean, we could even maybe move it back one more.
to Hmm. I don't know, that might be that might be a bit much. Yeah, I think that's too much. Can we get one notch in between that and the other one or not? We just need to, we need to bring it back here. Bring it there. No, nope. it looks like it's gonna snap there or all the way there. Okay, I think this will work. Again, the idea here being that we have a little bit of overhang on all sides of the building and not just the sides and, and the front isn't overhanging. It's the, you know, the best we can do to make things as symmetrical as possible. I like that. I think that can work. I think that can work under the circumstances. All right, cool. So, oh, nice. We got the biodome. Oh, that's beautiful. Um... We're, we're okay, so we're gonna include that. We have everything we need to make this too. Uh, we're gonna include that in this build. That's gonna be amazing. Okay, so I gotta think about this. Um, let's add. Uh, well, let's just keep adding to the to the main building first. Uh, so we're going to need a bunch more iron and titanium. All right. So we are ready to proceed here. So we're going to keep building our foundations back first. All right. And then we'll put up the living next uh, level uh, row, I should say, of the living quarters. There's some iron up there. Let's not worry about that. Let's uh, do this. Oh, we're already out of iron. God, got it, man. Need iron like there's no tomorrow. There's a piece here and some aluminum too. Let's see if there's a, a couple pieces out here that fell. Yeah, we got some, okay. That's a good thing. Those meteorites sure come in handy, man. I'll tell you what. They do indeed. Uh, I guess we can grab some of that and some of this, too. Um, I think this is another piece of iron up here. Yes, it is. I'm wondering if, oh yeah, we'll take that. Um, I'm wondering if, you know what I'm going to do actually? Let's store the aluminum in here right now because we don't need that at the moment. We need titanium and iron mostly right now. None of that's iron. Uh, do these ores respawn after a while? Because it seems to me like I would have already cleared all this out. I mean, I know some of it comes from the meteorites, but the stuff that comes from the meteorites is kind of sitting up on the surface. So, yeah, I don't know. Okay, let's put the next uh, section in there and one more. Okay. Um, yeah, so what I'm, uh, what I'm going to do guys is I'm just going to keep building this back and when we get to the back end of it, I'll bring you guys back at that point. Cause it, at this point, it's just going to be, be me going out and grabbing iron. And then when I'm finished with that, I'm going to go out and grab some iron. And then when I'm done with that, I need to go out and grab some iron. <laughs> you get the idea, right? So I'll keep the recorder running in case something crazy happens, but, um, yeah, otherwise, uh, I'll bring you back when we're. Finishing up the backside of the first part of our building here.
All right, we just uh, learned our nuclear reactor level one. Um, now it's going to require uranium rods as well as super alloy. So we'll figure that out when the time comes. Uh, we're just about finished here. Uh, I just have one more row to do. Yeah, one more row. Uh, so let's get the... I'm, I'm going to have to go out and get one more, at least one more load of iron to completely finish it though. Uh, but I just mostly wanted to show you guys um, that we got the nuclear reactor now. Okay, so... Um, yeah, I'm a, I'm essentially out of iron again. <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys in a minute. Okay, let's uh, get the the last section on for the ground floor. Uh, we'll do the corner pieces first, just for the hell of it. And then three of these. Oh, <laughs> short two were ironed. Can you believe that? All right. Um, I left a whole mess of iron uh, in the, you know, the little shack over by that first wreck that we did. Um, so I'm actually going to run over there and grab that. All right. Let's put this last building piece in. Then we're going to put a door right there. And we're going to put a stairs right there. And all right, so we finished the ground floor of our base. Lots more room uh, than we had in the first base, of course. So the plan is that all along this wall here, all the way down, and then coming back up this side, we're just going to have two big rows of storage, uh, of these storage lockers. And as you can see, I already put a couple of them up. Um, so, and then we're going to, uh, we are going to put a, uh, an upper floor here and actually we could build the, the ladder for it right now. And I think I'm going to put the ladder in the corner. Can I, uh, no, it looks like that only turns on right angles. Okay. So that way, you know, the ladder's not right in the middle of the road. Uh, because this is our center tile and that gets us up on the roof where we can actually grab these resources and then we're going to build a, a a second story room up here that will be uh more circular um you know than the the ground the ground floor and that will become our command center wh where we'll put all of our panels and it'll also be our, be our living uh, quarters too. So we'll put a bed down and some furniture and some cool stuff like that. Uh, all right, so this is coming along pretty damn good. So the next thing that I want to do is I want to go out and guess what? Get more iron <laughs> because I want to build all of the storage bins, um, you know, so we have a place to store stuff. But even before we do that, let's build the big crafting station which I think we're gonna put right here um, so what do we need for that sucker um, we just need three aluminum it's raining awesome okay we got to get a screenshot that's amazing um, I didn't think we had hit rain yet Unless it starts to come before we get to that all the way to the stage. Oh, this is beautiful. Um, yeah, I mean, last I checked it, it was still like 70% or something like that. But maybe that much time has gone by. I have been all over the place getting iron. Let's go see where, where our index is at. Oh, I love this, you guys. Finally, water. No, we're we're only we're only twenty five percent of the way to rain. How does that compute? <laughs> I don't get it. 
That is rain, man. Okay. Uh. Yeah, I don't know. I can't explain it. I'm not sure what the hell's going on with that, but uh, according to that, we're only 25% of the way there, but we definitely have rain, and this isn't just a little sprinkle either. This is a downpour. It's a beautiful thing to see. Oh, I just love it. Uh, all right, so anyway, let's grab uh, three aluminum. And um, I wonder if we, wonder if we could put the biodome on top of the main facility. I don't know. Let, let's we'll worry about that in a minute. Well, let's grab this uh, or the advanced crafting station. Okay, so let's run back over and. Um, put that in place I need a whoops that's not what I want to do let's grab another water it's too bad that uh, our water didn't just fill up automatically when we're in the rain so we'll start to see water accumulate in the in the valleys now um, I mean I'm not sure exactly exactly when that'll occur but It'll start to happen. So maybe what we do is we just got get little showers like that until we actually get to the rain stage, and then we just have like a deluge. I'm not really sure. This is just really cool to see to see the, the this process though. I mean, it's greatly exaggerated, of course, but you know, video games, right? Um, if you guys are familiar with the history of of the Earth. You know, we had the what's called was called the Hadean um, Eon, and that's when you know everything was all volcanic and all that, and that lasted for I don't know what 500 million years or something like that. And then there was like a one and a half billion year period uh, uh, Eon. I can't remember exactly what it was called, but that's when the the clouds developed, and it, then it started raining, and it just like rained for millions and millions of years, uh, and that's how the oceans were formed. It's just crazy to think about that kind of stuff. That's very fascinating. Uh, all right. Anyway, let's um, let's go ahead and make our advanced craft station. Yeah, I I do I I did get this far in my previous playthrough, so I did remember that this was going to be pretty sizable. Um, so I think what we'll do is we'll just center it right here. And yeah, okay. Oh, okay, so this is how we make these rods. Ooh, wow, that takes a lot of of iridium and uranium. And this is also, oh, we can make the jetpack now. Fantastic. And a tier, and tier four, oh, this is beautiful, guys. This is absolutely beautiful. Okay, so, yeah, we'll have to work towards this, this stuff so that we can make our jetpack. Uh, but I think even before then, we need this. But we're, we're going to need a lot of super alloy to do all this stuff uh, so we'll probably be hunting you know for that in the the aluminum biome but yeah this is just cool okay um bu -bu 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 -bu. let me look in here extremely condensed iridium I don't we we probably have enough iridium to to make the first one of these but this is what I would really like to do because that will allow us to make our first um, oh my god and that still requires three super alloy but the energy this thing's going to put out is going to be you know exponentially better than this guy okay um, I'd like to make this too and of course we need to make the tier three drills so it's really just kind of a matter of, at this point, you know, figuring out what the next highest priority is. I, I would very much like to make this. And in looking at this, it looks like it's about the size of a 3x3 three three building, which would be perfect for sticking up here. I just don't know if we can also use that um structure as living quarters and there's you know there's nothing that says we have to put it on the roof but it would be kind of cool to do that the question though is do we want to burn three super alloy on this 
right at the moment. We could probably get this heater made. I think we have enough iridium to make a rod to do the heater. Well, let, let's check that actually first. Um, if we could get that power plant, that nuclear power plant going, um, that's going to be, that's going to be awesome. But I just, you know, we need nine uranium and I don't think we have nine uranium. We may have nine iridium, but I don't think we have nine uranium. So let's just go check that. All right, guys, I had to, uh, I had to go away in real life for a bit. Um, so let's see, what are we doing? We're, we were looking at our iridium and uranium supply, I think. Uh, so let's see, we have five uranium and four super alloys in here. Nothing in there. And, oh, and we, so we have a total of six super alloys or no, sorry, five super alloys. Oh, let's eat this right now. And only three uranium, really? I thought I had a little bit more. Than that. Okay, so it so looks like we have f five uranium. All right, so uranium is... We don't have a, a lot of that at the moment. But I got to thinking, too, that what we should probably do is we should probably prioritize getting the jetpack before we do anything else. Just because what that's going to do is that's going to allow us to move around the map more quickly. And then we can explore more areas to look for the other things. Um, but that means we're also going to need, need to make the equivalent of two iridium rods to make the rocket pods. Um, right, yeah, two iridium rods to make the rocket pods. Um, and so that means we need to find a total, we need to have a total of 18 iridium. So right now we have five. <laughs> Shit. Okay, so we gotta come. We gotta. We gotta have to find thirteen more iridium to make this work. Um, okay, so let's just put these back in here for now. And I think what we'll do for the rest of this episode is we'll go out and see if we can uh, find some iridium. Uh, you guys are already completely mature again. See, now I have too much food. So. Yeah, you know what? I, we have a full thing here of food, so I think what I'm going to do is just leave the rest of those eggplants in there for now, um, just because I don't have room for them, and we'll figure that out later. Okay, so uh, let's see. We got two oxygens, two water bottles. That's good. And let's make since we're kind of low on water actually at the moment, let's make one more. And that we will we'll take that other one uh, soon. Okay, so the only place that I remember seeing iridium a, a, as something we can harvest, you know, because the rest of it that we found, we've just found like in crates and stuff, was that crater back up that way. So let's head back up that direction. We'll go back down into that crater and see if we can, you know, see how much iridium we can find. I don't think we found any in the, what I'm calling the aluminum biome. Um, as I recall. So let's run back that to that uh, back down to that crater and see how many of those we can actually come up with. All right, we'll stomp off here, replenish our O2, and then let's head down to the crater. I don't remember seeing a lot of iridium down here, though. So, um, but it's the only place that I remember s so far, anyway, seeing it where we can actually loot it as a resource. I wonder if, uh, I wonder if it's more prevalent up by the top of this. Of course, it doesn't look like we can just go all the way up here or can we? Can't get through there. Hmm. Oh yeah, look at that. There we go. Okay, so there's one piece. Ah, nice. Okay. This is kind of... Oh, are those actual rods? They look like it. 
How do I get that though? Oh, nice. Okay, how do I get this one? I I guess I need a jetpack, right? Well, there you go. <laughs> I had no idea there was actual rods in here, you guys. This is amazing. Uh, how do I get out? <laughs> Shit. Um, oh, yeah, we can kind of jank up the side here. Oh, this is so cool. That's nine iridium, people, right there, just in one rod. Look at how many there are around here. This is amazing. Okay, I don't, I don't think I can get to that one. Or can I? What? <laughs> how in the hell am I standing on this? Uh, how in the hell am I standing just on a vertical cliff here? Oh, this is just amazing. Okay, cool. Yeah, let's grab as many of these as we can because we need these for other things too, you know? Um, I mean, we'll grab the iridium as well, but... This was like the jackpot. Okay, are there any more rods around? I have another, I have, yeah, I have at least one more O2. Hmm, I, it makes me wonder if we can, if we'll come across something else later on, you know, that has, um, that has rods for uranium. Oh, this is great. Okay, we'll take that. Um, any way we can get... I, I'm, I'm going to have to assume that our suit is protecting us from radiation, because I think... Isn't iridium in real life radioactive? <laughs> uh, uh, uranium, obviously, that is, for sure. Can we... Can we oh, shit. Um, okay. Oh, this was like... The serious jackpot, though, man. I'll tell you what. Okay, yeah. See so if we can get up on top of here. And okay, there's another rod. Oh yeah, this is great. Is there any? Uh, you know, I asked this question earlier, maybe in the previous episode, and I'm recording a bunch of these back to back. And the reason for that mostly is just because I'm having so much fun with this game, I can't stop playing it. <laughs> so. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of getting ahead of you guys, but it's just kind of the way I roll. So, um, but what I was going to say is I wonder, oh shit. Okay. We're going to have to go, but look at these rods. That is so much iridium right there. Um, does this stuff respawn? That that's my question. And maybe you guys already answered that from a previous question, you know, previous time I answered the question. I don't know, but I mean, this is, this is just absolutely incredible that we got that many rods out of this. I don't think this game has fall damage either, by the way. <laughs> okay, let's grab... Okay, we are full. Um, I'm going to actually take another water just so we can grab one more of these. And we need to get the hell out of here because uh, we are out of, of O2. All right, where is the ladder? Once we find the ladder, then we know we can get out. There's actually quite a bit of, or just straight up iridium here too, but I mean, shit, if we can find the rods, that's, that's the better thing. Here we go. Okay, so as soon as we find this ladder, then we can just pretty much go straight up this hill here and we'll get to our, our place. Yeah, again, I, you know, we did come down here, right? A couple, one or two episodes ago, I think it was. I don't remember. Um, but I never really investigated the actual, you know, crater itself. The the asteroid that had, you know, or meteorite, I guess it's, is the proper term, itself. So, this is just fantastic, man, I have to say. Okay, well, our iridium rod... <laughs> needs have been satisfied for a bit here, I would say. Oh, that's just amazing. So we pulled 11 of those sucker. No, eight. Yeah, 11 of those out of there. All right, nice. Okay, let's head on back to... Well, you know what? We're breaking the rules. Chances are we'll be just fine, but 
let's not take any chances. We need to have an oxygen uh, container in our inventory. Uh, let's see. I need another cobalt. That's an ice. All right, guys. <laughs> I'm back. I, I got a phone call from my, my daughter and... Uh, she uh, she was just you know sharing some information with me about her pregnancy, and I'm gonna be a a, a grandpa here pretty soon, and I'm super excited about it. So, uh, I, it was all good stuff. Just, she just gave me some information. So anyway, uh, back to this. So what are we doing? We're going back uh, with all these freaking awesome iridium rods. Oh right, we were looking for um, or we were gonna make one more O2 tank because we want to always have one of those on us. So let's go find some more uh, cobalt. Looks like we have a piece over here. I, I'm like so stoked though, you guys, that we, <laughs> that we pulled that much uh, iridium and iridium rods out of this crater. That's just a gold mine. <laughs> it's so amazing. Okay. Um, yeah, so I will meet you guys back at the base and we will we'll make our jetpack. Yep, that's exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna make our jetpack. Okay, let's go ahead and what we need to do is we need to grab four uranium and um, I think we needed, was it two, I don't know, you know, it doesn't matter. Let's just take all of the super alloys over there. I mean, we're going to move all of this shit over to the main base anyways. Um, Yeah, these guys are just waiting. Let's... um. That's good enough. Okay, gauge already full. Not quite, but it's close to full. Um, let's see. Let's also let's grab that water, but we won't drink it quite yet. And we'll go back and we'll make our jetpack. This is gonna be great. All right. So um, let's go here, and we need two iridium rods. We're gonna make one jet rocket engine. We're gonna make another rocket engine. Um, we need a magnesium. Or a, no, sorry, a titanium. And here we go, jetpack one. All right, fantastic, you guys. This is just amazing. <laughs> we got our jetpack one. Okay, so can we also make this yes we can yes we can I, I i mean we want to do the backpack too of course but i think the oxygen having more oxygen capacity is more important uh so we just need one cobalt let's grab that and we'll make the tier four oxygen tank and that gives us 370 oxygen from 280 so it gave us almost 100 more o2 that's going to be huge Okay, let's try this thing out. Look at that. Nice. Um, we can't get a huge amount of altitude from this. But, uh, you know, it, it basically gives us 150% speed. So the net effect of this is we've basically increased our movement speed by 50 per, uh, up to 50%. Whereas before we were 30%. Um, and it will help us, you know, to kind of get to places that are a little, you know, we do have, we do have the ability to go up to a certain extent, you know, uh, height wise too. Uh, so this is going to just help, you know, us move around so much better. All right, cool. So, um, yeah, uh, what's going to happen next then is... I'm going to probably, okay, where are we at? We're, we're only 37% to the, the actual rain stage. And we've only had that one rainfall. So my guess is that we maybe have just little, you know, smaller rain showers here and there while we're in the cloud stage. And once we get to the rain stage, then we're probably going to see a shit ton of rain. It's <laughs> probably what's going to happen. Um, so um, I think what's going to happen here is I'm going to move all of our stuff over to the main base and set up some more lockers 
And I'm probably going to do that off camera, or at least, yeah, I'm going to do that off camera. But what I will do is I will keep the, uh, you know, I'll keep my finger ready to hit the record button if something significant happens. Uh, new blooper microchip. Pinning T1. I don't even know what the hell that means. Pinning T1? What does that mean? Uh, allows... Allows to pin one crafting recipe. Right-click on an object to pin its recipe. Oh, okay. So this allows us to actually pin something. Okay, that's going to be useful. Um, but we have, you know, we need to set up the grass spreader. We need to set up the biodome, and uh, we're going to need to figure out uranium. And I want to say that we f we can find that in caves. And in order to get into the caves, we need to really make sure we got the heat going. So, because we found all of those iridium rods... Um, oh, shit, what's the matter? We're thirsty. Okay. Uh, because we found all those iridium rods, I think we're going to set up a bunch of T3 heaters and really start cranking some heat out uh, to melt the caves. And then we're going to go into the caves, and I believe we find uranium inside those caves. And maybe we can even find somewhere where we can find uranium rods straight up. That was just amazing, you know, that we found those. Um, but I won't do, uh, you know, we'll do the heaters and stuff in the next episode to start the next episode. But what I'm just going to do right now is I'm going to transfer all this stuff over to the new base. I'm going to keep this base here. Um, I'll probably move all the food production over to the new base. But as far as the heaters, um, and even for now, at least the veggie tubes... Uh, I'll probably keep this stuff here and and then go from there. So uh, with that being said, thanks everybody for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share out the video, and we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.